So I've made up a little pendulum here, and I've got a bar that stops it. And the way it moves is like this. I'm going to start it at some height here. It's going to hit the bar, and that changes the radius of the pendulum. And then if I go fast enough, it'll make a loop like that. So my question to you is this. What is the height that I would need, the minimum height from the table, that I would have to release it at in order for it to do this? Go around and just barely make a complete loop. Just barely. And then go around. So what's the minimum height I would have to release it at? Now, you probably want to see what happens. So let's try it a few times. I think I'll release it from this height first. Obviously, it's not going to make it around. Nope. I'll release it from a really high height, like that. And you can see it makes it around no problem. So that was too high. What if I release it at somewhere in between, where I think it just barely will make it around? No, that was too slow, because it wasn't going in a circle here. It started dropping like a parabola. So there you go, somewhere in between. Now, if you want a rough ballpark estimate, I think around there would work. That looks like about 0 0.4 or 0 0.5. Let's see. That was pretty close. I'll go a little bit higher. Probably 0 0.5 right there. That was probably it. So there you go. That gives you an idea if you're in the right ballpark or not. Now, to help you out here, uh, I would break it down into two or three steps. My first step would be this, just to draw a picture of the path that it takes. Just sketch it down, the path that it takes, like that, and now all of a sudden you have a small radius, like that. Just draw a picture of it. It helps you figure out in your mind what's going on. Then, I would use circular motion the circular motion equations to figure out this. What's the minimum speed that you need right there in order for it to complete a loop? What's the minimum speed that you need there? Now, in order to figure that out, you're going to need some numbers. I measured the height here. That's 7 centimeters. Remember, convert that to meters. And I measured the height here. That is 23 centimeters. Those are the only two numbers that you need. Okay? So, then figure out what the minimum speed is right there. So that was the first part, right? Here comes the second part. What height do you need to release it at? And remember, we want the minimum height here. Now, this part of the question involves energy. The energy right there and the energy right there. Now let's make an assumption that it doesn't lose any, any energy while it travels. So the energy initial equals energy final.